Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill. When we last left off, we made it to the pier. We had a, a bit of spiel from Gillespie and Sybil. Uh, Sybil uh, has decided to disappear and go check out the amusements, which, well, I'm sure she's having a fantastic time down there, whilst we have decided, or rather been sent, to go and investigate the lighthouse. And that is exactly what we are going to do. So, let's start our adventure. Now, yeah, thought as much. I believe <laughs> I went through the wrong door. That's the one we need. We need the little door. Yes, see. No, wait, hang on. Hang on. I always get so confused in this boat section. Maybe it is that door that we need. I mean, there's only two doors to choose from. You know, it's 50-50 at this point, right? Aha! Yes, this is the correct door, I think. Mm. Dick! Kiss my metal ass, friend. Not that I have a metal ass, but I'm sure we could find someone with one. Maybe a rather rude robot. Uh, that's the wrong way. <laughs> Harry, it's fine. You're, you're probably not going to die. Probably. Oh, good lord. There's these bastards. We don't like those bastards. Harry, please don't get stuck in the corner, Harry. Yep, this is going to go quite badly. Whew, okay. If we could get rid of that one as well. You know, it's probably going to be beneficial for us to get rid of at least some of these guys. There we go. Dropped like a sack of shit. Now, let's get rid of him. Like so. Now, if we go down here, I think there's actually a medikit. Ooh. It's another worm head. So, let's get rid of him. Like so. You know, thin the herd just a little bit because, my God, as you can see, this is a target-rich environment. And I don't mind thinning the herd. We have have plenty of bullets after all. Okay, that'll do. Now let's head back up and take a little peek at the library. Ooh. There's another poor, unfortunate soul down here. I do like the fact that the pistol, as lowly as it is, will hit stun the enemies, which is quite nice. There's no goodies down there, but that's fine. Okay. We are making some fine progress, leaving nothing but bodies in our wake. Generally doing a good thing. Cleaning this town up. One blast at a time. Unfortunately, there's no goodies down here, but that's okay. Oh, well, you just you just kind of came out of nowhere, didn't you? Well, that's fine. We can dispatch him. Now, I think we're actually starting to run out of. Uh, we're yeah, we're starting to run out of hangar bullets, but we're okay for now. Ooh. That was unfortunate. These guys generally don't come down the stairs. At least in my experience. And are you meaning to tell me that their bodies have blocked the stairs? Nope, it was just because one was still alive. Son of a bitch. Now we can go back that way, but there's nothing there. So let's proceed to the lighthouse. And examine... The place. See what lies within. Well, we've got a save notepad, but that's not really that useful. We're just going to keep awkwardly climbing the staircase, which cracks me the hell up because it's very hard to elegantly walk up that staircase. Extremely hard. Wait. too late. Hmm. It's that girl again. Curious. Alright, well, 
I get the feeling we have kind of come all the way up here for very little. Still, I suppose we're going to have to go back, retrace our steps, and find some other way. Maybe we should follow Sybil. Sybil? Sybil. And see where she's been. Curious. There should be some worm heads down here. Hmm. No, she hasn't. That creep's sure to show up at the amusement park pretty soon. Let me be on time. How do you know? That creep, whoever that creep actually is in Harry's mind, um, is going to show up at the amusement park. Well, I mean, he's right. Don't get me wrong. But that was a curious guess. Right, let's get out of here and retrace our steps at least a little bit. All right, we've got some worm heads. Evasive action. There we go, Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. Wizard at dodging these worm hands anyway. Cool. Give them the old slip. Now, if we have a little peep at our map, we can see that we now have a new target. So, let's go follow that. Unfortunately... We have dogs. Oof, Sybil could have gotten to the amusement park from here. Yeah, she probably did. So before a worm head takes a massive chunk out of our buttocks, we're going to head down. Down, down, deeper and down. Oh, there she is. Hmm. Well, that didn't look good. That didn't look good at all. Looks like something just bit her. Or at least punched her in the back. I'm sure it's nothing. Probably just worrying about a load of old nonsense. Now, here, we have more of our old scratchy friends. Now, these guys suck. These guys really freaking suck. Now, there should be another one above us as well. But if we can, I'm going to try and avoid him. Because there's no point, to be honest. And we have some nice piss yellow staining here, which is rather curious. We're not going to think about it too much. And we're not going that way. That way is also closed. So, by process of elimination, that leaves one way to go. Now, there's a new enemy down here. Um, but we're probably not going to be fighting it. In fact, those of you with eagle eyes will already recognize the enemy. Because we have seen it once before. However... The game kind of took over. So, let's start moving. And we've got more of the scratchies. And there's the new enemy, Mumblers. Now, we saw one of those trying to eat Kaufman. Sadly, we saved him. Probably a questionable decision, to be honest. But, hey-ho. Seems like he's up to all sorts of dodgy business. Including... Um, and but not limited to selling drugs and coming up with bizarre concoctions for the local population still that was not a very long or difficult sewer section this time even shorter than the last god damn now here we find ourselves in the fun park. Now, the fun park is a bizarre little area. Uh, and again, this is another one of those areas that I remember being huge. It is not. 
Yeah, we've got these creepy little larvae boys hanging out. We're not going to worry about them too much. Now, the biggest problem with this area is you don't have a map. And it's a nightmare to navigate. Oh, hello. You're not a larvae boy. You're one of the dickheads from the school. Well, consider yourself sorted, mate. You are expelled from existence. Right, so if we find that, that means we're moving in the right direction, which is good. I mean, at least, you know, even in a nightmarish, freaky, hellish dimension, there's still room for fun fairground rides. Unfortunately, Harry doesn't exactly feel quite up to having a go on one. Now, there is a save location here. But we're not going to worry about that. And I feel like her health is really low. And it's not actually that low. You can tell by how hard the controller is vibrating. We have, we're down to 36 health items. No, we're not. <laughs> we're down to 36 health drinks and uh, 17 medikits and two ampules. We're, we're still pretty good, guys. We're, we're, we're pretty fine. I have a small inkling that we're going to be okay when it comes to our health situation. Anyway, let's kill this guy because we can. And exacting revenge on evil monsters brings me an insane amount of joy. We're doing our part for the community. There's nothing else here. So we need to find the merry-go-round. Which is around here somewhere. Oh, hello. We've got another larvae monster. That's fine. He can go entertain himself. A lost and alone. Okay, I think we're getting there. Aha! This is what we want. Merry-go-round. Cool. I wonder if Sybil made it this far. Let's go find out, shall we? Ah, bless her. She's having a bit of a rest. Well, no time for that. Did she, uh, did she always have red eyes? Wait a minute. She's a terrible shot. Maybe she shouldn't be armed with that weapon. Right, yes, Sybil has been possessed. Now we can kill her. She's, she's reasonably durable, considering she's just, you know, a human. Um, she, she will take like almost 30 shots with the hunting rifle. I don't know what her body is made out of, but it, it's pretty tough stuff, let me tell you. Um, the shotgun is also kind of effective, but it will take more. Now, if we kill her, we get not necessarily the bad ending, but we, we, we don't get the, the bonus, the plus. So there's a good ending plus, there's a good ending, there's a bad ending plus. So we are going to be using this unknown funky liquid. If we soak her in this, it cures her. I don't know how Harry knows that, by the way. Um, but I'm glad he does, because otherwise this would be quite sad, because, you know, she's, she's savable. Um, this can be quite awkward and difficult to use. Uh, now, another thing about Sybil is she will shoot you with her handgun. Um, I never realised this until I started playing this uh, again and, and putting a bit more time and practice in. She actually only has one magazine. And uh, at least I don't think I knew this anyway. Um, after she's fired 10 bullets, she'll throw her gun away. And then she will walk up to you and try and strangle you very slowly. Or she'll try and slap you. 
uh, and she gets significantly easier to deal with because her handgun, two bullets will kill you. One bullet will knock you to red, second bullet will kill you. So, yeah, now using this liquid on her is it's strange. I, I don't know if there's an exact science. You're supposed to just get up close to her and push use. I thought this game was bugged when I first started trying to use it. Because, there we go, it's going to work this time. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know the science behind it. But we're going to save her. I think she she enjoyed that. I don't know. A bit weird. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> splat, Wake splat. Up. Snap out of it. Sybil. Harry. What happened? Shh. Don't talk. I'll take care of you. Harry. Why did they take your daughter? Why her? I'm not sure myself. But, you know, Cheryl isn't my biological daughter. I actually haven't told her yet. She probably already knows anyway, though. We found her abandoned on the side of the highway. Nobody knew where she came from. We didn't have any kids of her own. My wife was sick. And it didn't look like she was getting any better. So we took Cheryl in. So in that case... There might be some connection between Cheryl and this town. What do you do now? Cheryl is my daughter. I will save her no matter what. right there. I don't know who you are or what you're trying to do, and I don't care. Just one thing. Let Cheryl go. That's all I ask. What? this ah! where's Cheryl Give me back my daughter. We meet at last, Alessa. Thalia Gillespie? Where's Cheryl? Where is she? Alessa. This is the end of your little game. Mama? Could she be? You've been a ghastly little pest, haven't you, Alessa? I was careless. Thinking you couldn't escape from our spell. But Mommy didn't know how much you'd grown. That's why I couldn't catch you all by myself. But what a pity, yes? 
Now you're half indebted to this man for his help. Hey, what are you talking about? Alessia, my dear little girl, there is one thing left I need you to do for me. No! Get away from me! Bad girl. What's going on here? Lisa, what happened? Where's Alessa and Dahlia? Harry, listen. Something you said before has been bothering me. I just can't get it out of my head. What is it, Lisa? So I went to look in the basement. Even though I was scared as hell. Like you said, there were these creepy rooms. down there I got this weird feeling like I'd been there before like something happened there but I can't quite remember somehow what was it Harry help me I'm so scared I can't take this it's only a temporary thing you're in shock from when you were knocked out Fret about it. You'll remember after a while. No. You don't understand. Wait! Where do you think you're going? <laughs> that sound from down there, it's coming from the basement. Oh my. So yeah, we're basically on the the last part of the game here. So I'm I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna leave it here. There's a save pad. Um, it looks like Lisa is uh, cracking up. She's obviously seen something or realized something's not quite right with her in this place, and yeah, it, it it's kind of affecting her. Also, we found out that Cheryl isn't Harry's biological daughter. <laughs> Who'd have thunk? And, of course, you know, Gillespie is uh, the evil witch that she looks like. <laughs> yes, um, we've just had basically most of the plot just dumped on us. And, yep, kind of, you know, pretty generic, twisty sort of stuff. Um, I guess, I'm trying to think, like... <sighs> the first time I ever pl uh, played this game, it seemed pretty obvious that um dahlia was evil just by her character design um so you know that that kind of shocks nobody <laughs> it's a pretty pretty low hanging twist um but anyway i'm gonna leave it here guys because we have pretty much i'm i think we could probably do the last of the game in one shot uh, if we finish it here or mm, thereabouts, I think. Um, so thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.